Hi my friends, today we model this part, curved handle, which seems to be simple, but it is not, believe me, you will see. The drawing is here, the operational body is this uh, uh, complex of uh, features, and the curved handle. This is the object. You see how it looks. Yes? Good. We'll model it, but before I want to show you something. We create uh, a new object by using these planes these two I make them visible and in this plane I create a sketch with a simple line like this one To apply then uh, the plane tool, selecting this plane and the uh, the line. I want them to be at an angle, and the other plane is this one. I'll make it also visible and uh, we all know that four planes which are not parallel or uh, aligned embed a volume inside a tetrahedron yes we can make this object by using the tool sculpt this is the tool. Yes. If you have a number of surfaces which embed an object, you can create the object. Let's see this. We have to select surfaces one, two, three, four, and the object is inside a tetrahedron, as I said. Okay. Now I make all of them not visible and also the sketch not visible. Once again, visibility. This is the object. Yes, as you can see, we can combine faces, planes, or curved surfaces to embed an object then we use the tool sculpt and we obtain this we'll use this tool okay now let's take a look at the drawing to see how to start we start with the curved handle handle with this part there are some dimensions here 26 but look what is 26 then two millimeters between the centers of uh, radius 8 which means that uh, the dimension at this level is uh, twice 8 16 plus 2 which means to have uh, an 18 end here and the end is uh, on this face because this uh, is a, there is a dimension here you see 14 half of 14 
is from this line to this point and 8 is the rest and 8 is the radius so this radius is tangent to this line you have to understand every uh, dimension in this drawing so we start by creating uh, this sketch in the plane xy we draw a line an arc and a vertical line like this we project the x axis and we place an angle of 45 dimensions are in the drawing then a radius of 41 a distance from this point to the vertical of 38 and a total length of 150 this is uh, the backbone of the handle but not symmetrical you'll see me immediately we draw a line perpendicular on this which has the length aligned aligned of 18 as I said 18 at a distance of 7 from the center point which is 14 divided by 2 because we use dimensions in the drawing and not to invent dimensions another important line is this segment of 26 with the right end at 11 from the vertical and which contains this end very good now we draw a line which I want to be parallel with this it is then an arc and a connection line to this end tangent between these two the parallelism be between this is here if I select the sign of parallelism we see this line good another three entities are on the other side one two three this is tangent good I'm happy this is uh, 50 and it has a distance from the center point its center is placed at 58 okay other dimensions are between this arc 
which must be concentric with this. I apply concentricity between them and we have uh, another situation. Another position is the same vertical between the center point and the center of 50. Now we have fully constrained sketch. Good. We apply fillet of 8 at each corner of this uh, area, closed area. Then offset a 4 inside to the inside. 4. Okay. Finish sketch. Extrude on 20 plus 9 dimensions in the drawing. As you can see here there are dimensions 20 and 9. 9 is the thickness of the handle. Yes. So this is 20 plus 9. Okay. The next sketch is placed in this plane. We project the end line of the previous feature and then three entities similar with the backbone as you can see very easy tangent radius of 35 distance of 20 dimensions are in the drawing. I repeat this all the time. And this point is placed at a distance of 55. Fully constrained. Now I apply offset of 9 to the left 9 and I close this contour with end lines as you can see finished sketch the next uh, operation is to intersect the extrusion of this area with this volume intersection we select the intersect and to this face. Good. That's all. Okay. What is this? This is our handle. Look at it. Very interesting. We apply some uh, fillets because we have all the contour well defined this is 3 and here is also 3 ok you see that uh, section which has radius 3 and 3 on the thickness of 9 then there is a chamfer of 2 on 1 and we end with this fillet. Let's make this modifications or features chamfer. We can select from here 
or if this is so we can select from the solution not this this solution two distances this is what we want to apply two and one I don't know which is which I select this and I change so because two millimeters are on vertical and one millimeter on horizontal you see okay the last is uh, a fillet of one now look here it takes a time to find the situation for inventor there is a problem with uh, such a curious contour three was the previous value it is not accepted we don't need it we need one millimeter and this is accepted good very nice very interesting now we continue to add this this uh, volume yes which is uh, on the whole length of the handle it doesn't matter mm, that this is uh, curved the thickness is four millimeters yes you see here okay now we create surfaces to apply what I said before to apply sculpt this is the solution not simple be very careful with this but we have solutions for everything right click and share sketch we apply uh, an extrusion of this as a surface of this contour on 20 plus 9 yes because we want to cover all the distance between this okay now I change the background to forest to see that you, you don't see anything here okay now you see what I did I created a surface okay good now I make this not visible and I make visible by sharing the second sketch share sketch why because I select this plane for a new sketch which will contain only three projected entities one two three finish sketch not visible the sketch two and then we apply an extrusion a line extruded is a plane a contour extruded is a surface yes the direction is to the part and the end is to this face yes okay now we have uh, one two surfaces this is on the base of the handle and now we create another one distant with four millimeters up how to do this thicken offset we offset 
Yes, we want to create another face, not a volume. We offset this, but not to down to up a uh, four millimeters and then we select the other faces this one and this one because we want to have all created yes if I uh, hide the solid you see the situation there is a volume embedded inside these three surfaces one two three yes we want to create that inner volume in uh, the handle i come to visibility with this solid visibility because the new volume will be joined to this and we want to see sculpt one two three okay <laughs> very nice now you see there is a radius too of uh, fillet on the bottom here I select one of the edges and I apply two millimeters for all okay this is the handle we continue with this operational body as I called it this contour contains uh, a small trick you see this is a line at 10 degrees from this small line which we'll use right now so we create on uh, the face XY here is the center point of our model this is that center point we create this contour radius 22 this is parallel with this and the small trick is here with this point which is the center of uh, uh, the radius 4 okay we select the plane XY for a sketch we project this tiny line as I mentioned F7 and now we create a circle with a radius of 22 and then two tangent lines this is one I want to be tangent and uh, this is the other now I keep the mouse button pressed and an arc to connect these ends the arc must be concentric with a circle extend this line and cut the end the radius of this is 36 this is parallel with this line and the other is at 10 degrees not this 
I create one a new line at 10 degrees somewhere here from the projected segment this is 10 and now I apply fillet a 4 between these two y to place this point at the end of this line yes and now you see fully constrained the only thing I do is to apply another fillet of 2.5 to this corner and trim of the arc finish sketch extrude the extrusion is dimensioned here the thickness of this feature is 5 so extrude on 5 ok next is but let me close this uh, volume uh, I continue with this extrusion a square one of 22 the projected line was here you remember the construction of the handle so the distance between this line and this line is 4 millimeters yes 22 minus 14 is 8 half of 8 is 4 this is important here so we reuse the XY plane we reuse the projection of this line and F7 to C only this line and the center point then a polygon with four sides from here to somewhere the parallel for these two and the distance of four this is all we need to dimension this square then we apply a fillet of four at each corner of the square as you can see here finish sketch the thickness or the extrusion is 16 extrude 16 but join in the other direction so okay the next feature is uh, this one you see uh, a small revolution between minus and plus 20 degrees from a plane at 125 degrees we create this plane we create the contour and then we apply revolve the dimensions are here let's do this we create a plane starting from this one around this axis and placed at 55 if you make a small calculus look here yes this is the plane the angle is 125 here 
which means that this is 55 we write here 55 okay now in this plane we project a line this this line F7 and we create that contour it starts from not a selected point but on the line so an arc a line back up and to this end and we close contour with a final end line dimensions are in the drawing I only use them here 1.5 is this the distance between these two but not so reverted is 1.5 these are dimensions in the drawing this is 9 the other also 9 and we can apply dimension from here to the center point of 22.5 and 30 that's all finish sketch this plane is no more necessary and we apply a revolve of this closed area symmetrical the axis is the axis Z I select from here the angle is 20 plus 20 as it is in the drawing okay very good now we can apply a fillet of 2.5 as in the drawing to this loop and then we go to this rib yes you see there is a rib here let me show it here which has dimensions here yes this all contour okay the face from which the rib starts is this uh, face uh, at four millimeters from the center this plane can be reported to this or to this which are 14 divided by 2 then adding or uh, subtracting 4 I'll start from here with the plane with this plane but there is no uh, hole square hole here so we create a polygon with four 
sides centered here and with a point here you see the radius is 4 so this is 4 and 22 minus uh, 14 is again 4 millimeters we apply extrude with cut this with cut through the part okay now a plane from this placed at uh, 14 divided by 2 plus 4 millimeters okay this plane must be visible so I make it auto resize to have a larger surface good on this in this plane we create a sketch F7 by projecting this line and this line this two line arc line and and this must be also tangent A radius 10 angle here is uh, 7 degrees angle here is uh, 7 degrees uh, 30 minutes as you can see or 7.5 degrees uh, another dimension all of them are in the drawing of course is uh, 13 this one and the last angle is measured let me project this generator to apply 12 degrees here oh but that uh, vertical was not placed I suppose or it is it is yes I go back to the options on colors to have presentation because it is more visible now I don't like this angle I place again 12 here good F7 now uh, because of the curved face here the inside and here we have to uh, make some extra lines like uh, this line from here to this corner and then to this corner 
we go up to a line. This is the generator here. So I project it. this this is vertical this what happens to this line maybe I didn't use the right position now it is look this is okay trim this end we made this not visible This is okay. We delete that one, and this is construction. Then we draw a line over this to the face and back to the uh, our contour is not construction so we have now a contour to apply extrusion to this direction without uh, uh, having uh, gaps or other problems finish sketch extrude on 9 and this direction is okay okay visibility f6 now we have to fill some gaps here is one and here is one we select this face and we project this arc we draw a line here from this corner to the arc and then finish sketch extrude this area not up but to the part yes okay the other one is placed on this face we project lines we add we project this and this F7 to see inside we draw line from here to the starting arc then to this point and then an arc to here an arc between these two points and so then we draw an arc from this point we know that this arc is tangent to this line we place somewhere the end of arc and we make tangent with this as you saw here the same
this is. We also apply tangency with this and we add a connection line between these two points. Now we have a close contour. These all are to be construction lines. Now I hope we have a close contour. Extrude. Yes, we have. To the part. Okay. In the drawing, we can also see where here a radius of 6. Let's apply this radius as well as oh but this is not good. Let me add this face. Face, finish sketch, extrude to the part. Yes, and the gap is filled. Fillet of this radius 6. Okay. Now other radiuses. This is the drawing and you see here is 4 and all the other is 1.5 or R. 1.5 is everywhere here and here. Good, let's apply 4. This is 4. plus all the other of 2.6 this one this one no this not I apply control click to like now yes to eliminate the selection this two on the side and this on the other side here, also here, no, 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 this is not. You will uh, see the drawing and you will apply all this nice fillets. Good. Next are some other features. One is this hole with a diameter of 4 millimeters placed at 8 millimeters from the face. Since we have a, a fillet here, we cannot start from this face, so we'll start from the inside. Yes. We select this face F7 we place a point not on any lines and on the same vertical is this point with this point a distance of 8 from the face Finish sketch, hole, through, 
four millimeters okay and you see here that the hole uh, get out of the fillet the last feature is uh, this small channel 2.5 on 1.5 which is present here up we select the face we draw a rectangle this rectangle with 2.5 this dimension we place it with the center of this face on the same vertical with this we make tangent tangent this side with this face not external Control Z, we move this up here and we apply tangency. The last is this. Now we have fully constrained small extrusion on. of this on 1.5 millimeters cut okay F6 material is still cast the general aspect is also still cast and we apply machining on some faces where uh, there is functionality of the uh, part Still polished F6 properties physical update and you have here all the data good that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye